Hi everybody. Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, the mathematical framework and tools for understanding, modeling, and predicting anything that moves. Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to finish chapter nine by talking about uh, the exercises or the problems at the end of the chapter. So I have three problems that I want you to have a look at. The first one is um, proceeds in a way similar to how we analyze the Hopf bifurcation model problem in this chapter. So x dot is mu x minus 3y, y dot is 3x plus mu y, and then we have nonlinear terms. We have that uh, provocative x squared plus y squared term, but now it's cubed. Okay, so proceed in the same way and see what you come up with. Do, do the same type of analysis that I did in the chapter. Okay, these are five A, B, C, D, five exercises that I, I took from the book of Marsden and McCracken on the hop bifurcation, and I've given the reference. These exercises are, in, are given in polar coordinates, and I want you to do the bifurcation analysis for each of these. And you're going to and, and make sure you interpret polar coordinates correctly. R has to be greater than or equal to zero, and R positive is a periodic orbit. In some of these problems, you're going to get multiple periodic orbits. And then in problem three, problem three is in the same spirit as the final two problems, or two examples that I considered at the end of the chapter, where I wanted to illustrate um, a single parameterized family that could have multiple types of bifurcations. So in the first one, it had two saddle nodes, and the second one had a saddle node and a pitchfork. And see what you get with by doing a similar analysis for this particular vector field. Okay, that's it. Enjoy the problems. And in the next lecture, we start Chapter 10, the Center Manifold Theory. So bye for now.